Don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Reverend Insanity, written by Gu Zhen Ran, audio by Dex San Wu Li. Chapter 123, I Travel Alone Through Heaven and Earth. Chapter 123, I Travel Alone Through Heaven and Earth. Translator, Skyfaro Editor, Skyfaro. What's the matter? Fang Yuan looked at Kai Shan. Even if it was winter, he continued to be topless, his red skin emitting a warmth that made people feel like they were near a heater. The white snow that landed on his body instantly melted. This is because his aperture had a double orifice stove GU. The stove GU was a rank 2 GU worm. It could store internal heat that could be used for attacking. Subduing the cold was just a side effect. Kai Shan's expression was complicated, he stared at Fang Yuan and said. Gravely, do you know that these days, Shang Li from the Shang clan has been finding you for a contest of strength? I know, Fang Yuan nodded. Kai Shan sighed, Shang Li finding you for a contest of strength is not a mere competition, but it involves the interest allocation of the three clans. Alliance. Under the wolf tide, non-alliance means destruction. But after forming an alliance, the biggest problem is how to distribute the interests and profits. These days, the three clans have been at a stalemate due to that. Fang Yuan looked at Kai Shan, instantly understanding why he had looked for himself. Negotiation was the hardest thing to do. For their own interests, the three clans would not give way automatically, and they would have to fight for their best interests. The negotiation table was long filled with gunpowder and smoke, battling wits. In this world system of values, first was strength, second was kinship. Qing Mao Mountain's three clans were individual clans, having great conflict towards each other since a long time ago, each bearing old and deep grudges. Of course kinship cannot be used to alleviate their tensions. So to break the tension, they had to rely on strength. On Earth, there are military exercises to display one's strength. In this world, it worked similarly in that there are GU contests to display the strength of one faction and achieve greater benefits for themselves. Shang Li finding Fang Yuan for a contest to compete strength was due to this. As expected, Kai Shan said next, I have competed with Shang Li, he has the brown bear innate strength GU and already possesses the strength of one bear. He also has the grand bear GU and can increase his strength by another bear. Together he has two bears strength. I am far beyond his match, as much as I want to deny it. But as Qing Mao Mountain's number one strongest person, the title belongs to him no doubt. He paused for a while, then continue, let's talk business. Your strength is around mine, so you are not his match either. But you cannot lose, as you were the one who woke up the river swallowing toad, the hero that saved Qing Mao Mountain. Once you lose, RGUU clan's interests will be compromised. So for the clan's interests, discard your personal honor and avoid battle. Fang Yuan stared silently at Kai Shan. Kai Shan looked down, I know that this matter towards you is very difficult. After all, avoiding the competition has a disastrous damage towards one's own reputation. But it is for the interests of the clan, if you lose, the clan would have to give up much more. The clan has nurtured us. We naturally have to contribute to the clan right. The clan needs you. Sacrificing your own reputation for the clan is only natural. But this matter started due to me, so in my personal name, I will compensate you for it, as part of my goodwill. Saying so, Kai Shan handed Fang Yuan a large money bag. Fang Yuan weighed it, and chuckled, so my reputation is only worth two hundred primeval stones. Kai Shan could hear the sarcasm in his words, his gaze sharpened as he said. Solemnly, Fang Yuan, please do not have any indignant feelings. Earlier, I tried to console you with kind words, but the truth is I'm here with a mission. Avoiding the competition is the clan higher-ups orders. Regardless of what you think, this is an order. I hope you understand your position. Saying so, he turned around and left, leaving deep footprints in the snow. Fang Yuan looked at Kai Shan's back as his eyes revealed a sign of understanding. In order to get the greatest benefits, the clan has already used the event of 
me chasing away the river swallowing toad as a chip in the negotiation. After all, the river swallowing toad was a danger to the entire Qing Mao. Mountain. In order to get rid of this chip, the Shang clan sent Shang Li to challenge me. To the clan, I am but a chess piece. Shang Li is the same, and Kai Shan is also a chess piece. What is sad is that these people are willingly being pawn pieces, even basking in its glory and finding it natural, this is truly a successful brainwash by the clan. But I originally did not want to compete with Shang Li anyway, the so called reputation is merely praises from others. This chain that binds people has captured many heroes and geniuses in the past. But to me, what loss is there? Hee <laughs> hee, I have to thank Kai Shan for sending me 200 primeval stones. Thinking of this, Fang Yuan smirked. Why did he attract Shang Li's challenge? Merely because he had the glory of saving the village. Why did Kai Shan challenge Shang Li? It was merely for the reputation of Qing Mao Mountain's number one strongman. The so called reputation is merely a superficial carrot. It has tempted many people and trampled many others, manipulating countless people. Sad, how sad. Snow continued to descend slowly. The entire Guu village was silently erected in the snow. The people beside him rushed through the streets. What's laughable is that these people have had their bodies trapped by this fictitious glory. Fang Yuan's eyes drooped down as his eerie dark iris was half covered by hair. The light reflecting from the snow shone on his face. The young man's face was pale and had a sort of coldness. Suddenly laughing, Fang Yuan recited a poem, White Snow Blankets the Land as I travel alone through heaven and earth. Alone without any attachments, my solitary shadow travels freely. He took a large step and continued traveling. While others rushed, Fang Yuan walked alone. Whether it was clansmen, snow or the village, they were merely a blurry background. A moment later, he reached his rental apartment. The bamboo buildings and the wine tavern, he had already sold them all away. He continued to stay in the rented flat, and although it was very simple, Fang Yuan did not ask for more, he just needed a shelter over his head. Sitting on the bed, Fang Yuan began to cultivate. GU masters in cultivating to break through a large realm, needed ability and talent. But to break through a small realm, it was merely the accumulation of time. With enough time, the aperture would be continuously nurtured and it can continue to elevate. According to agreement, when it reached evening, Zhang Ya came to Fang Yuan's residence. Lord Fang Yuan, these are the primeval stones this time, please inspect it. He walked into the room, handing over five money bags respectfully, filled with primeval stones. There was more than 400 primeval stones inside, and as the wolf tide approached, GU masters had an increased reliance on the vitality leaves. This caused Fang Yuan's sale price to continuously go up. Fang Yuan handed Zhang Ya nine vitality leaves, asking, the thing I asked you to purchase, have you done it? Zhang Ya showed a look of disappointment, shaking his head, Lord Fang Yuan, this is bad timing. The wolf tide is coming, and the clan has increased its control on resources. Other things aside, that fish scale GU is only slightly less valuable than the jade skin gu i have already tried my best but it is difficult to have results immediately fang yuan frowned fish scale gu was used with stealth rock gu to create the stealth scale gu without the fish scale gu he couldn't refine the stealth scale gu even with resource control it does not mean we cannot find a fish scale gu the root of the problem is zhang ya's ability being too small it seems that fusing the stealth scale GU would have to drag on Fang Yuan sighed in his heart, but he was not discouraged. Nine out of ten things in this world will not go according to plan. This is life, and the phrase, smooth sailing, is only a beautiful greeting. My clan produces the fish scale GU, and our clan also has them, although less in number. It seems this matter has to wait after the formal alliance. Fang Yuan was not in a rush, he knew that once the three clans form an alliance, they would create the battle merit board. This would encourage GU masters to proactively hunt wolves. 
By then, he would be able to use his merit points to exchange for the three clans' resources. Of course, GUU clans Moonlight GU, Shang clans Bear Strength GU, and Bai clan Stream GU were the clan's signature, and would not be exchangeable. But the fish scale GU was definitely inside. Danger is accompanied by opportunity. To GU masters, the wolf tide was a strict examination, but also an opportunity to rise up. Under the attack of the wolf tide, numerous famous GU masters died while many GU masters gained fame due to it. The older factions in the clan would weaken due to this, but new factions would rise up into the political stage. At night, unexpected guests arrived. Gu Yu Ching Shu and Gu Yu Fang Zheng. Ching Shu got to the main point, mentioning his previous objective, wanting to buy the liquor worm from Fang Yuan. At the same time, he also wanted to buy the black boar Gu and even the nine leaf vitality grass. Nine leaf vitality grass was a no brainer, liquor worm had long become the four flavor liquor worm, even if Fang Yuan wanted to, he couldn't even produce it now, thus he rejected them. But the black boar GU. I have already gained the strength of a boar, so the black boar GU has little value to me anymore. Black boar Gu's best advancement path is the steel. Main GU. Although it is a GU with both offense and defense, to me who already has the white jade GU, it has little use. I might as well exchange it into a fish scale GU. Fang Yuan thought of this, and mentioned it. Fish scale GU. Ching Shu frowned, then nodded, I know, you lack a defensive GU worm. The fish scale GU can be fused into the rank 2. Scale armor GU. It can provide good defense. Using the fish scale GU and stealth rock GU to create the stealth scale. GU, the recipe would only be discovered 200 years later, so it was. Natural that Ching Shu had no clue. Fang Yuan did not expose himself, the black boar GU is more valuable than the fish scale GU, so if we exchange it, you have to compensate me. The difference in price. Naturally. Ching Shu nodded then asked, never mind about the nine leaf. Vitality grass, are you really not selling the liquor worm? It is useless too. You already, raising it for nothing is just a waste of your primeval stones. Fang Yuan shook his head, don't mention the liquor worm, it is not for sale. Ching Shu rubbed his nose, laughing bitterly, Fang Yuan, this matter is more complicated than you think. Do you know Ji Yu Yu Yao La? She is the granddaughter of Medicine Hall Elder Ji Yu Yu Yao Ji, a new student this year, and has B grade aptitude. Ji Yu Yu Yao Ji loves her granddaughter and once tried to buy a liquor worm in the treehouse, but did not succeed. You've used the liquor worm before, I'm sure you know the benefits it has. I won't say any more, but Lord Yao Ji really wants this GU worm for her granddaughter. An elderly's affection for her grandchildren is completely understandable. Thus, she has come to you, she is serious about buying it and has offered a high price. She even promises that if you got Injured in the wolf tide, you'd get special attention from the medicine hall. I hope you consider it thoroughly. Chapter 124, I don't need your understanding. Chapter 124, I don't need your understanding. Translator, Skyfaro Editor, Skyfaro. So that's it, Fang Yuan rubbed his chin, then shook his head, this liquor. Worm is not for sale. Since Yao Ji is insistent, why isn't she finding that Ji Yu? Master who bought the liquor worm. Hearing this, Ching Shu looked like a dark cloud was looming over him as. He sighed deeply, sigh, we do not know which clansman has it. After buying this liquor worm, there has been absolutely no news. We cannot find anything, and we cannot simply inspect apertures right. That is a taboo, the biggest taboo among GU masters. For a small matter like the liquor worm, causing public rage is not good. But it is understandable that this clansman is keeping a low profile on his treasure, this is also human nature. Ching Shu did not know that the real person who bought the liquor worm was sitting in front of him. But Ching Shu never suspected Fang Yuan, since in his perspective, Fang Yuan had the liquor worm already, he wouldn't need to buy a second one. 
What's the use of it? If he knew about the four flavor liquor worms recipe, he would definitely suspect Fang Yuan. But now, this recipe was solely Fang Yuan's secret to keep. The only one who knew that Fang Yuan was the buyer is Jia Fu. But to Jia Fu, Fang Yuan could be helping another person to buy it. Whether it be a relative or a lover, something like this is natural. Yao Ji is the same right. Buying the liquor worm for her granddaughter. No matter what, I am not giving way for this liquor worm matter. Fang Yuan's attitude was firm without any loosening, as he smirked in his heart. This was the system. The system made one strong, but it was also a restraint. Ji Yu Yu Yao Ji was a rank 3 Ji Yu master. She was much stronger than Fang Yuan, but due to the system she could not snatch it from him. Due to the rules of the system and minding her own reputation, she cannot forcefully purchase it either. Fang Zheng who was at one side suddenly urged, Brother, the liquor worm is useless to you, why cling on to it? Granny Yao Ji is very kind. I've met Sister Yao La many times too, she is a good person, I am sure she will take good care of the liquor worm. And the liquor worm is very helpful to her. Kindness begets kindness, brother, you save the village and I am happy for you. This brings honor to our family as well. But why are you being so stubborn now, isn't this too petty? Fang Yuan's expression stiffened as he said coldly, my good little brother. Are you lecturing me? The liquor worm is my business. Even if it rots in my hands, you have no rights to dictate what I do. He was not really angry, but attitude is the mask of the heart, and by expressing his attitude, it would allow Ching Shu to see his determination to reject. It seems Fang Yuan is bent on rejecting. Bringing Fang Zheng here on purpose was a bad move. These brothers have a poor relationship and are always at odds. I've shot myself in the foot. Ji Yu Yu Ching Shu's gaze shone. Fang Zheng, go out and shop around. Fang Zheng wanted to say more, but he was stopped by Ching Shu. Fang Zheng gritted his teeth, but still obeyed Ching Shu's command. Either way, I cannot understand you in this matter, big brother. He opened the door, leaving his last sentence. What I do, does not require your understanding, Fang Zheng. Fang Yuan, was expressionless. Fang Zheng's movement of opening the door stopped for a moment, but he quickly walked out of the room without turning around, closing the room door with a bam. This movement caused the room's atmosphere to become even more awkward. If there is nothing else, Brother Ching Shu can take your leave. Fang Yuan instantly evicted his guest. He he he, Ching Shu laughed dryly, trying to alleviate the tension, but Fang Yuan's face was cold as ice, showing no signs of change. But his temper was mild, and he did not get frustrated. Touching his nose, Ching Shu laughed awkwardly, there is another matter. Regarding the Nine Leaf Vitality Grass. The Nine Leaf Vitality Grass is not for sale. Fang Yuan rolled his eyes. I know, I know, Ching Shu nodded, it is regarding the Vitality Leaf, this is. The personal business of my group. I hope you can supply the produced. Vitality Grass to us. Of course, we will pay you an appropriate compensation. Seeing business approaching, Fang Yuan naturally did not reject, then. 65 primeval stones per leaf. Ching Shu on hearing the price, was tongue-tied. According to market rates, the clan's original sale price is 55. Primeval stones. Although the vitality leaf is an expenditure type rank 1. GU, gone after one use, this was something to save lives, and nobody would. Mind more of it. Especially with the wolf tide nearing, the clan is also raising prices, and each leaf is sold at 60 primeval stones. Actually, not just the vitality leaf, but also resources are also getting pricier. This is the volatility of the situation, and GU masters have to live with it. But what Ching Shu did not expect was, Fang Yuan's price was even higher than the clan's. Finding it expensive, you don't have to buy it. But as far as I know, after the wolf tied, the clan will tightly control resources, and the vitality leaf would have excess demand. By then, the prices will soar again, there might not even be stock, what do you think? Fang Yuan's tone was calm as he 
safely evaluated his pricing. Ching Shu was stumped, his tone turning helpless, you sure are clear of it. But your price raising is slightly overbearing. Aren't you afraid of offending people? If you reduce the prices, you can use the opportunity to build relationships. But if you raise prices like this, the clansmen will keep a grudge on you for earning profits this way. Fang Yuan raised his head and laughed, the wolf tide is nearing, I am but a small fry, I can die any day. How can I bother with these trivialities? You have long gone past the stage of a small fry, and human relationships are not trivial either. Ching Shu stared at Fang Yuan deeply, then lightly shook his head, but everyone has their own thoughts and choices, I will not force you. However do be more careful, Lord Yao Ji will not let go so easily, goodbye. Ching Shu no longer mentioned the matter of purchasing vitality leaves. Fang Yuan's prices had scared him. He was a smart person, and when a smart person buys things, they do not act on impulse, but only after intelligent consideration. A smart person would have an evaluation in their heart, and once the prices exceed their worth, they would calmly pull out. Fang Yuan seemed to have only increased the price by five primeval stones. But Ching Shu was not just buying one vitality leaf, and the wolf tide would be going on for at least a year, he would be expending a lot of vitality. Leaves. If this accumulated, it would be a heavy cost. Thanks for your advice, take care, I shall not send you off, Fang Yuan. Said, watching Ching Shu leave. His heart was clear as he knew that Ching Shu would definitely be back. That is because he had underestimated the wolf tide's severity too much. Under such a wolf tide, death might instantly befall anyone, and the vitality. Leaf had no lack of customers. In his memory, the price rocketed to over a hundred primeval stones. Of course, this price was also during the period when the wolf tide was at its strongest. Right now, what Fang Yuan wanted to do was to accommodate to the time period, gradually raising prices. As time flowed, the winter wind grew more cold and harsh. This year's winter winds were evidently colder than previous years for Qing. Mao Mountain's three villages, taking the Guu village for example, more and more crippled wolves appeared near the village surroundings. The clan sent out large amounts of missions, and almost all of them were about exterminating the crippled wolves. During December, when the crippled wolves amount reached its peak, this caused the situation to worsen quickly, reaching an atrocious level. In fact, there was even a situation where a hamlet at the mountain foot was slaughtered by a large group of wolves. Good thing was, the dozen GU masters in the village retreated in time. The clan higher-ups breathed a sigh of relief secretly, as the death of a GU master would cause them to feel pity for over half a day, but for mortals. They were all slaves anyway, so be it if they die. In this world, there are no human rights. A GU master's life is more valuable than a hundred mortals, this is the viewpoint of everybody. However death and injury would definitely not be little, thus, the village had sounds of crying and sniffing from morning to night. The village emanated a sense of grief and suppression throughout. The crippled wolves were only the prelude, the true wolf tide was even more horrifying. More and more people started to realize that the wolf tide this year is exceptional. Under such pressure, the negotiation that had been under a stalemate obtained quick progress, and the Three Clan Alliance was formed. A month later, at the end of winter, Alliance Slope, Three Clan Alliance meeting. Little snowflakes that were like soft white fur slowly drifted down. Hundreds and thousands of GU masters gathered here, forming a grand scale. The Alliance Slope was originally an ordinary mountain slope, but throughout history, the GUU clan second generation clan had managed to create the first three clan alliances at the slope. Thus forth, all future alliances were held there. After many years of refinement, the current alliance slope had already expanded tens of times, becoming a giant town square. The town square was along the mountain wall, and there was a huge rock erected there. On the huge rock, there were rock carvings of buildings, and in the buildings there was rock furniture properly assembled. The three clan higher-ups were sitting inside, closely discussing 
Below the giant rock building, the three clans GU masters had their respective standings, forming three large groups. GU masters wore similar battle clothing, and along with a belt, their respective cultivation levels were apparent. Fang Yuan was within them. He secretly observed the situation. The GU masters below the stage were all rank 2 GU masters. Most rank. 1 GU masters were allocated to support, and only rank 2 GU masters were the true mobile troops. As for rank 3 GU masters, they were clan elders, and for a mid-size clan like the GUU clan, even after each generation's effort they only had a little more than 20 clan elders. Fang Yuan was observing, and the other GU masters were also watching. Countless gazes intersected with hatred, curiosity, and alertness. GUU clan's GU masters were on the skinny side. Shang clan's GU masters were strong and robust, and from appearance their strength could be shown by clan's GU masters, maybe due to living by the waterfall. Behind the mountain, had whitish skin and had a yin aura one around them. That long hair guy is GU Yu Ching Shu, rank 2 peak stage, and as the GUU clan's number one rank 2 GU master, some pointed out. Mo Yan, HMPH, this wrench caused me to lose an arm. After the wolf tied, I must get revenge. Someone snorted in their heart. Whoa, that girl riding on the giant bear, she should be the Shang clan's. Shang Zhao man, don't be deceived by her appearance, she goes battle. Crazy when fighting. Do you see that white fat girl? She's by clans by Zhang Shui, a rank. Two upper stage fighter, who has the water boar GU. She is very promiscuous and very lustful towards men. You newbies be careful, don't get fucked by her. The three clans animosity and grudges had long been deep seated. Alliance Slope's discussion noises became louder as it turned into an uproar. Many GU master seniors were pointing around, introducing the strong. People from the other two clans to their juniors, reminding them to be careful of them. One, Yin Aura, this is a bit hard to explain. Yin is associated with females. Dark energy, water energy. Reminder. Shang clan, bear clan. Bai clan, white clan. Chapter 125, oh, then I admit. Defeat. Chapter 125, oh, then I admit defeat. Translator. Skyfaro Editor, Skyfaro. The traditional overlord GUU clan, the newly rising Bai clan, and the never underestimated Shang clan, Fang Yuan's gaze flew across the people as he stood in the crowd, observing the entire situation. GUU clan has Qing Shu, Kai Shan, Mo Yan, Shang and Bai clan also had their outstanding rank 2 elite GU masters. Together with the different clans heads and elders in the rock building, the Alliance slope can be said to be filled with elites. I wonder which one is Bai Ning Bing. The man who symbolizes the Bai. Clans rise. Bai Ning Bing is already rank 3, he is definitely not among the rank. 2 GU masters. It seems he isn't in the rock building either. Gradually, the discussions gathered on Bai Ning Bing. Although Bai Ning Bing did not appear, his brilliance had already suppressed all the GU masters below the rock building. I remember that three years ago on the Alliance Slope, it was Bai Ning Bing who was the first to step out and start the GU battle. In just three years, he became a rank 3 clan elder, thinking about it makes me shudder. He rose to heaven in one step. When he was rank 2, he could defeat a clan elder in the Shang clan, this guy has a bright future ahead. The point is that right now he has already grown up, and at this rate, he can become a rank 4 expert and even rank 5. As for rank 6, rank 5 is mortal, while rank 6 is immortal. Rank 5 is already amazing. Rank 6, HMPH, you are all overestimating him. That might not be, who can predict the future? Under such discussions, the three clan heads in the rock building stood up, staring down at the thousands of GU masters. GUU clan head was in the center, by clan head and Shang clan head at his left and right respectively. The alliance slope gradually quietened down. Gu Yu Bo held the railings, sweeping a glance at the crowd, before saying. The three clan alliance will pull together in times of trouble. 
For the GU Battle Tournament, in the spirit of competition, competitors shall stop before fatality occurs. Start. The alliance slope was dead silent. The crowd looked at each other. The three clan alliance would always hold a GU battle tournament. Not only was it to show off the clan's individual strength, it was also to promote conversation and temporarily alleviate their grudges to achieve the aims of working together. But who will stand out first? If the first GU master to stand up failed in public, it would be shameful on their own reputation, and it even shames the clan elders up in the rock building. Last time, Bai Ning Bing stood up. But this time, the crowd continued to hesitate. Suddenly at the Shang clan's side, a group of GU masters stood first, it was Shang Li's group. Immediately, the group of five invited numerous people's attention and gaze. The Shang Li group walked past the GUU clan's area, and under everyone's watchful eye, he stood at the Bai clan's territory. It's Shang Li, Qing Mao Mountain's strongest man. That's right. It seems that not too long ago, the GUU clan's Kai Shan lost to him in public. His title is unmovable, not even Bai Ning Bing can take it away. Damn it, the GUU clan isn't going over, are they trying to bully our Bai clan? At the Bai clan territory, there was a mild disturbance. Many people knew Shang Li's strength and felt a sense of pressure. But Shang Li looked around and did not move from his spot, instead. Shang Zhang who was beside him stood out. Shang Zhang had a thin body, and at the Shang clan's area with lots of burly men, he was very striking. He took a few steps forward, facing the Bai clan's GU masters, cupping his fist. Shang clan Shang Zhang challenges brother Bai Bingyi. Once he spoke, astonished noises could be heard below the rock building. Bai Bingyi's status was around the same as Kai Shan and Shang Li etc. Among the Bai clan's young GU masters, he is only inferior to Bai Ning Bing. For Shang Zhang to challenge him, he was evidently trying to overcome the stronger foe. But could he? Bai Bingyi stood up with a grim face. His body was small and his face was pale, he was like a patient who had just recovered from a serious illness, giving off a feeling of being weak and sickly. But no one dared to underestimate him. You, Shang Zhang dare to challenge me, you have some courage. How do you want to compete? Say it, I'll accept it, he said to Shang Zhang. Shang Zhang laughed darkly, I specialize in defense, and you specialize in attack. How about this, I defend and you attack. I'll give you three attacking opportunities, and we'll compare the results. This was not a life and death match, it was only sparring. But Shang Zhang had such confidence, he was obviously prepared, and this caused many people to mutter among themselves. Bai Bingyi raised his brows, Shang Zhang, no matter what GU worm, you are still a rank 2 GU master, your cultivation is like that. Do you really think you can block my water drill GU? If I injure you, don't complain. Shang Zhang snickered, we wouldn't know unless we try right. Come. Saying so, he activated the GU in his body and his body changed color. Becoming dry and green like a dead block of wood. At the same time his teeth turned sharp and long, and four fangs were exposed out of his lips. His iris also turned green. This was the rank 2 GU, roaming zombie GU. Once activated, it could turn one into a zombie. Compared to living people, zombies are better at resisting punches and kicks and have greater regeneration, but is afraid of fire, lightning and light. Although it has greater resistance towards water, wind and poison. At the same time, zombies when fighting under the sunlight are not as strong as in the night, and thus are weakened by the time of the day. Even so, I am not afraid, Bai Bingyi laughed coldly, raising his right arm. Under everyone's watchful gaze, he gathered his five fingers at one point and contracted his fist. First, a droplet of water formed on his five fingers, then in the blink of an eye, the droplet expanded, turning into a fast-flowing current, and from his fingertips, the water coiled around his palm in a spiral manner. In two breaths' time, Bai Bingyi's fist was already covered by a light blue colored spiral drill that rotated non-stop. Rank 2 Water Drill GU 
Able to drill through rocks and steel with very strong attack power, barely. Any GU worm could defend against it. Receive my blow, Bai Bingyi coughed, throwing out his fist. Shang Zhang raised both arms, forming an arm shield. The water drill hit his arm, and a large amount of water splattered. The two were at a deadlock for a few breaths when suddenly the water drills. Rotation intensified, and Shang Zhang flew five to six steps back. Shang Zhang laid on the ground, but quickly did a belly flip, standing again. One could see that the muscles on both his arms were torn by the water. Drill, showing his pale white bones. By clan's GU masters upon seeing this scene uncontrollably cheered, but a small number frowned. He he he, Shang Zhang laughed slyly, not minding his injury as a zombie. His pain sensors had been reduced to zero. Bai Bingyi stood on the spot, but suddenly his pale face changed, and he vomited a mouthful of blood. Bai Clan GU Master's cheers ended. What happened? Someone exclaimed. It's the Shadow Bond GU. Bai Bingyi stared deeply at the ground, where Shang Yang's shadow was distorted at a creepy angle, pasted on top of the snow. It connected both Shang Zhang and Bai Bingyi together. It seems I win, brother Bai. With this shadow bond GU, no matter how much injury I suffer, you will take 10% of it. I specialize in defense, but you are a pure attacker, and you have poor health, so even 10% of the damage is deadly to you, Shang Zhang said plainly. Bai Bingyi wiped the blood traces off his lips, staring deeply at Shang Zhang for a while before saying, good, very good, you planned well with such great tactics. I lost. He admitted defeat on the spot. Too unscrupulous. Absolutely cunning and shameless. To think he had a shadow bond GU, senior Bai Bingyi was completely outplayed. Bai clan's GU masters exploded into a series of discussions. Shang Zhang cupped his fist, I'm flattered. If we really fought, the final winner would still be brother Bai. The shadow bond Gu's range is limited. It can only bully close-range GU masters, I hope brother Bai can take good care of me in this upcoming wolf tide. Of course, Bai Bingyi's expression softened a little, and nodded. Bai clan's GU masters also started to quieten down. Standing on the rock building, the three clans higher-ups who had been observing, nodded discreetly at this scene. The GU fighting competition was only for sparring and not ruthless assault. Shang Zhang exposing a trump card also increased each other's trust and understanding. Whether it was Shang Zhang or Bai Bingyi's attitude, they were good. Resolving it like this, the Bai clan's GU masters, even if they did not admit it, felt admiration towards Shang Zhang. After all, the strong were respected. Shang Li's group had a good start, Ji Yu Bo lightly praised. He he he. Shang clan head beside him laughed lightly, Shang Zhang had given him face. Bai clan head at the other end had a tough expression. But Shang Li's group did not quit while they were ahead, the five left the Bai clan's area, and came to the Guu clan. After challenging the Bai clan, they are challenging the Guu clan. Now, oh no, Shang Li himself is stepping up now. Guu clansmen were slightly nervous, many of their gazes were gathered. On Kai Shan, Mo Yan and Ching Shu, but who knew Shang Li shouted loudly, who is Fang Yuan, please stand. Up, I heard you could chase away the river swallowing toad alone, why? Don't we have a contest of strength? Instantly, the crowd exploded. Shang Li stood up, yet he did not challenge Ching Shu, Kai Shan or Mo Yan. But instead pointed out a newbie junior. Fang Yuan, who is Fang Yuan? Some of the other villages GU masters had never heard this name before. Chasing away the river swallowing toad alone, oh my god, that's a rank. 5 GU, is he so absurd? Some shot glances of shock and curiosity. GUU clan's GU masters took the initiative and opened up a path, and Fang Yuan who was among them was exposed. Without anything hindering their vision, Shang Li and Fang Yuan stared at each other. Shang Li's lips curled to an angle, saying with a very manly elegance, I hope Fang Yuan would generously teach me. This Fang Yuan, who in the world is he, he doesn't have three heads or six limbs anyway. Chasing away the river swallowing toad is also by coincidence and luck. 
It is nothing hard. Hey, being targeted by this muscled man Shang Li, he is in big trouble now. Fang Yuan, you can't avoid it anymore. Sigh, in that case, just hope for the best and go ahead and battle. Kai Shan sighed in his heart. Oh, is that so? Fang Yuan shrugged with a plain expression, then I admit defeat. The moment he said so, the crowd all went dumbfounded. Chapter 126, Demise of the Wood Charm Chapter 126, Demise of the Wood Charm Translator, Skyfaro Editor, Skyfaro Admit Defeat Fang Yuan's words were still lingering in the crowd's ears. Instantly, almost all the rank 2 GU masters below the rock building looked at Fang Yuan with surprise. Fang Yuan ignored them, he held his arms and stood on the spot with an indifferent expression. Admit defeat. He directly admitted defeat, did I hear that wrongly? He is Fang Yuan, he doesn't even have the guts to come out, ha ha. We recognize Shang Li's power, he is indeed strong. But even if you want to admit defeat, at least do that after the formalities. By directly admitting defeat, he is not only showing that he is a coward, he is even tarnishing the clan. The whispers were like ripples in a calm lake. The GU master's gazes turned from surprise to despise, scorn and gloating. Many GUU clan GU masters felt unease, the gazes from the Shang'an. Bai clan's GU masters were like invisible needles, piercing their self. Esteem. Fang Yuan was a member of the GUU clan, with him directly admitting. Defeat, this made them feel absolutely humiliated. How could you admit defeat? Fang Yuan, you are a man of GUU. Village, stand up and fight bravely with Shang Li. Even if you lost, it wouldn't be anything serious. If you don't even have the guts to go out, then that would really be throwing away our dignity. Some GUU clan GU masters shouted and urged Fang Yuan to take the challenge. Fang Yuan was indifferent, to him, these words were like dogs barking. The so-called name, face and honor was only a pie painted on a paper. Shackles used by the higher-ups to bind the organization members. These GU masters were also dogs on a leash. Shang Li gazed at Fang Yuan and suddenly laughed, I am truly disappointed. Is this how a GUU village's bravery looks like? GUU clan GU masters looked unsightly when they heard this. Hoots of laughter came from Shang village's side, and even by villages. GU masters looked at GUU clan with mockery. The people around Fang Yuan started moving away. Everyone made some distance from him, their faces were filled with embarrassment. Soon, there was no one within five steps from Fang Yuan. Fang Yuan stood alone, my way or the highway, one, his expression was, calm as opposed to the surroundings. Others fancied a courageous reputation, but Fang Yuan scoffed at it. This, made others loathe him, because Fang Yuan loathed fame, he was rejecting the society's values. Denying this system of values was rejecting the people who live their lives. Following these values, others naturally wouldn't deny their own values, otherwise they would feel that they were living in a wrong way. Thus, they had subconsciously started to reject and boycott Fang Yuan. A weak-hearted person would be defeated by such rejection and they would change themselves to suit the public. However, Fang Yuan needed such rejection. He had too many secrets on him and so he needed to be solitary. At the same time, these people weren't worth being friends with. In his memories, Qing Mao Mountains 3 Villages barely survived the wolf tide, but the accident two years later would totally destroy them and turn the entire Qingmao Mountain into a desolate area. What Fang Yuan needed was to use this time to improve himself as much as possible, then leave the clan and avoid the fatal disaster. Guu Ching Shu, the number one rank 2 Gu master in the Guu clan, couldn't help but stand up seeing this situation. Shang Li, how about sparring with me? He he, what will we compete on? Shang Li was smiling, but his expression was serious. Ji Yu Yu Ching Shu didn't look at Shang Li, he slightly raised his palm and silently moved his primeval essence, his eye watchfully looked at the green vine that was slowly growing out from his palm. He calmly said, let's compete on your strength. If you can break away from my green vine's binding, I will admit defeat. Is that okay? 
Hee hee, good suggestion, let's do it that way. Shang Li grinned, his eyes revealing a bright light. He inwardly thought, I already have the strength of a bear and combining it. With the strength increase from Grand Bear Gu, I possess the strength of two bears. Although Green Vine is tough, I have absolute guarantee of breaking it away with the strength of two bears. Shang Zhang won against Bai Bing Yi and if I defeat Qing Shu, it would give us great reputation. Qing Shu gently smiled. Without speaking, he extended his two hands, two green vines grew out from his palms. Like two nimble green pythons, the Two vines climbed up Shang Li and twisted around his body. Shang Li's hands were at his waist, the green vines coiled around both his arms and instantly made a dozen circles around them, tightly binding his hands with his back. The GU masters on the scene couldn't take their eyes off this contest. Please, Qing Shu said to Shang Li. Shang Li opened his eyes. He tightly clenched his fists and started putting strength. Every muscle on his body seemed to stand out like lumps on a huge rock. Strength of a bear. Boom. The green vine started to snap under his enormous strength. Ha ha ha, brother Ching Shu, it seems the winner of this contest belongs to me. Shang Li was using his strength to break free, but he still had enough energy to make a conversation. Senior Ching Shu. Fang Zheng was nervous and his hands were Sweating the other Guu clan's Guu masters were also the same. Guu Ching Shu was the number one among them and if he lost the contest, the Guu clan would have thoroughly lost their face this time. Not necessarily. Guu Ching Shu smiled, his eyes showing confidence. When he finished speaking, the green vines on his hands started changing. The originally green-like jade color suddenly changed to a dark green color. At the same time, the vines also became thicker and green wide leaves started growing on it. Shang Li's face changed, he sensed the green vine's coiling strength had increased by more than ten times. What made him more apprehensive was that those green vines which he had broken away from started growing and reconnected with the broken areas. Grand Bear Gu. He sensed the situation going bad and immediately used the Grand Bear Gu in his aperture. Immediately, his hair started stiffening up like steel needles. The muscles on his whole body enlarged and he seemed to have become much taller and bulkier. Strength of two bears. The green vines gave creaking noises but it was still able to resist this. Terrifying strength, firmly confining Shang Li. Shang Li's face became very red, and he brought out all his strength to break the green vines. But finally, he was only able to snap one green vine and couldn't continue anymore. I lost. He released the supporting strength of Grand Bear Gu and said, while gasping, you let me win. Ching Shu cupped his hands and retrieved the green vines. Senior Ching Shu, you are the best. Gu Yu clan's Gu masters were jubilant. Senior Ching Shu really deserves his name. Big brother can't compare to him at all. Fang Zheng stood beside Ching Shu and looked at the latter with reverence. Shang Li's gaze was complicated as he looked at Gu Yu Ching Shu. He had progressed and obtained Brown Bear innate strength Gu, but Ching Shu had also progressed. Although he didn't know what the latter used, but this was his true rival. As for that Fang Yuan, he was only a newbie and was nothing to worry about. It really is the wood charm Gu, Fang Yuan thought as he observed Ching Shu from afar. Shang Li hadn't discovered anything when facing Ji Yu Yu Ching Shu. 2. Emerald green leaves had grown on Ji Yu Yu Ching Shu's hair. This was the sign of using the wood charm Ji Yu. The so called wood charm was a tree spirit. Using the wood charm Ji Yu could let one battle as a tree spirit. The tree spirit was an unusual creature. It could directly absorb the natural essence in the air and use it. GU masters couldn't do this, they could only use the primeval essence in their aperture. When one used the wood charm GU, they could become an embodiment of a wood charm tree spirit and would be able to directly absorb the natural essence in the air and replenish their primeval essence. It was the same as absorbing the primeval essence from primeval stones. When normal GU masters battle, they are unable to divide their mind and Absorb primeval essence from primeval stones while fighting. 
but as an embodiment of the tree spirit, the absorption of natural essence is an instinct and does not need one to divide their minds. This meant that the GU masters who used wood charm GU were experts in war of attrition. Although one couldn't say that they could use the natural essence endlessly, they could fight for as much as three times longer because of the continuous replenishment. And once one became an embodiment of the tree spirit, GU worms like green vine GU and pine needle GU would also have their strength amplified. Fang Yuan instantly connected the dots, wood charm goose fusion. Advancement can be said to be one of the most extravagant advancement. Roots. It is a rank 3 GU and needs to fuse with a hundred years. Lifespan GU to advance to a rank 400 years wood charm GU. The hundred years wood charm GU needs to fuse with a thousand years. Lifespan GU to advance into a rank 5000 years wood charm GU. Everyone knows this fusion route, but GU masters rarely use this recipe. The reason is due to the preciousness of the lifespan GU. When the GU masters finds lifespan GU, they will usually use it directly to increase their own lifespan. In this world, a human could live for at most a hundred years if they didn't encounter any accidents or illnesses. A hundred years was the lifespan limit of the humans. But a lifespan GU can increase lifespan. A hundred years lifespan GU can increase the lifespan of a person by a hundred years and a thousand years lifespan GU could increase it by a thousand. Lifespan GU were extremely rare and everyone sought after them. Fang Yuan had lived for 500 years in his previous life because he used 500 year lifespan GU in his previous life, thus adding five. 100 years to his lifespan, his 100 years lifespan had turned to 600 years, but in the end halfway through, he was attacked by the righteous factions and had no choice but to self-detonate and die. Lifespan GU represented long life and could let people live for long, but it didn't mean undying. The wood charm GU is powerful but has its weakness, GU masters can't use it for a long period. If they use it for too long, the wood charm goo's strength will affect their body and will transform their body to that of wood, finally changing the body into a wooden corpse. In my previous life, Ji Yu, Yu Ching Shu had died in this way. Thinking of this, Fang Yuan's eyes flashed. Ordinarily, powerful Ji Yu worms had huge side effects and needed to be used with other Ji Yu worms. Otherwise, there would be harmful influences on the GU Master's Body. Shang Yang's roaming zombie GU was best used with the bloodline GU. If not, the blood in his body would decrease when used for too long and he would change into a true zombie. The Shang Li group returned to their camp. They first won against Bai Bing. Yi, then met defeat against Qing Shu. Even so, the group still received a lot of applause and praises. Mo Yan, I challenge you. Come, Shang Zhao man, I will fight you. After the Shang Li group, the whole scene suddenly became noisy. Many GU masters continuously came out and challenged the powerful opponents. In their minds, demonstrating their bravery, the alliance slope turned chaotic, and all kinds of brilliant and varied GU battles were occurring. The true GU battle had started. One not entirely sure how to fit this into the passage, it is an idiom, but it just means he does whatever he wants, to persist in whatever he is doing no matter what others say. Chapter 127, So-Called Morals and Relationships Long Chapter Translator, Skyfaro Editor, Skyfaro Only until evening did the GU tournament come to an end. On the Alliance Slope, the GU masters from all three clans were no longer as divided as earlier. GU masters plastered the slope and only three densely Packed groups could be vaguely seen remaining. GU battle sparring was both a form of venting and also compromise. In this world where the greatest value is strength, only with strength comes respect, and that forms the basis for cooperation. After Shang Li challenged Fang Yuan, no one else came to look for him. Fang Yuan was only a newbie and did not have much interactions with the other two clans GU masters, not to mention any animosity. As for his own clansmen, they would not challenge someone from their own clan in this situation. 
especially after Fang Yuan admitting defeat, it caused other GU masters to lose interest in him. Towards this, lazy, cowardly, opponent, what value is there in winning, not wanting to be trampled on, there are two ways. One is to become strong, strong until no one dares to step on you. Another is to turn into dog. Shit, something no one would want to step on. Fang Yuan did not care about dog shit, or the reputation of the strong. He, always acted unscrupulous, and only cared about the results. Without, anyone challenging him, it made his life easier. The surrounding people's contempt and disdain, he treated it like air. If he, could not endure even these gazes, what right did he have to pursue the, demonic way? The alliance gathering ended successfully, and Guu clan, Bai clan, and, Shang clan all reached an agreement. First, declaring the rules. The three clans will temporarily put aside their grudges and resist the wolf tied together. In times of danger, they will assist each other. At the same time, internal killing is prohibited, and an investigating battle group will be set up. Once they find any murders, the murderer will first be chased out of the clan, then the three clans will bring judgment together, making them pay with their lives. If the murderer escapes outside, their family's lives will be forfeited. Even if the GU master dies, GU worms retrieved from their corpses have to be given to the clan, and if it is used secretly, they will be charged with murder. After the GU worm is submitted, they can exchange it for merit points. Secondly, setting up the battle merit board with a small group as a unit. Every moment will be showing the battle achievements of the groups from all three clans and their rankings. A lightning wolf's eyeball is exchanged for 10 merit points. Merit points can be used to exchange for GU worms, primeval stones, and other resources. The appearance of the battle merit board naturally inspired the hot bloodedness of the GU masters. The result of the GU battle sparring could not explain the true strength of both parties in actual combat. For example in the case of Shang Zhang and Bai Bingyi, other than the water drill GU, Bai Bingyi naturally had other attacking methods, but Shang Yang's shadow bond GU only had an effective range of 10 meters. Furthermore, the results of any battle are swayed by many external factors. GU battle sparring lacked a convincing element, which the battle merit board can provide as a fairer method of competition. The GU masters from the three clans wasted no time in hunting lightning. Wolves, fighting for a better ranking on the battle merit board. This was not just for one's own glory, but also for the reputation of the clan. Especially the top three positions in the merit board, it showed intense. Competition. Almost every day, the top three would have some sort of. Change. Very quickly, a month passed. Winter left and spring came, causing all living beings to grow once more. After a battle, Fang Yuan stepped on the remaining snow, regulating his breathing as well. As observing the battlefield around him. On the battlefield, there were over ten lightning wolves, all dead. Wolf. Blood and minced corpse could be seen everywhere, and the air emanated a smell of thick blood. Howl. At this point, wolf cries could be heard from a distance not too far away. Fang Yuan's expression changed slightly. With his experience, he knew that a pack of wolves were heading this way rapidly. If it was any other GU master, after an intense battle, without enough primeval essence in their aperture, they might have thoughts of retreating. But Fang Yuan did not care about this, he squatted down and began to gather the eyeballs from the wolf corpses. His movements were fluid and highly efficient, but even so, after he was Done extracting, he was already half surrounded by the wolf pack. This was a mid-sized wolf pack with around 100 crippled wolves. Their greenish wolf eyes showing a ruthless expression as they stared at Fang Yuan firmly. Fang Yuan kept the wolf eyes well before standing up with a smile. Next, his body flickered like water ripples, and he vanished on the spot. The wolf pack that had come to assault him were instantly riled up, and some of the crippled wolves stood in their tracks, showing a hesitant feeling. After all they were wild beasts. Seeing such a magical scene, it was hard to comprehend. 
But, this is also because the Lightning Wolf King uses its wolf eyes to observe, and not its nose. Lightning Wolves are fantastical creatures of this world, their vision is sharp like an eagle, but their sense of smell is no better. From humans, my stealth scales GU counters these Lightning Wolves perfectly, but it cannot hide from a dog's nose. Fang Yuan was clear in his heart. Stealth Scales GU was successfully refined by him before the GU battle tournament. It was like a fossilized carp, gray throughout, lying in Fang. Yuan's primeval sea, letting the liquid essence flow around its very realistic fish scales. The fish scale GU that Fang Yuan lacked was naturally obtained by trading the black boar GU with Qing Shu. With this stealth scales GU, Fang Yuan could retreat from under the lightning wolf's nose. In these few days, this situation had already occurred many times. Normally, wolves or hounds had very sensitive noses. But lightning wolves were different, they were very fast, but without clear vision, they would knock into a tree or the mountain rocks. But nature is fair, as when it bestowed the lightning wolves with its sharp vision, it also took away their sense of smell. However, the lightning crown wolf was different. Even with the stealth scales GU, Fang Yuan could travel freely among the normal wolf tide, but in front of a myriad beast king like the lightning crown wolf, he had nowhere to hide. That is because the lightning crown wolf's eyes had the lightning eye GU. Residing in it, this GU allowed the ability to see through all sorts of cloaking. Other than the Lightning Eye GU, there are actually also many other GU worms that can detect the steel-thed Fang Yuan. For example, the Snake Communication GU, it can detect heat. The Beast Language GU can allow a GU master and wild beasts to converse and obtain information. The Clairaudience GU can allow a GU master's hearing to be extremely sensitive. Thus, even with the Stealth Scales GU, it did not mean Fang Yuan was completely safe, but it was at most a good life-saving trump card. When he returned to the village, it was still afternoon. The day in spring was bright and beautiful, and there were many people passing in and out of the village door. What was different from previous years was that people on the road were mostly GU masters, while there were very little mortals. Under the influence of the wolf tide, the wilderness was not safe. Hunters did not dare to hunt in the mountains, and farms were almost abandoned. On the streets, GU masters were high in morale, each returning with blood. Traces all over, are enthusiastically leaving. They were either talking about the battle merit board's ranking, or discussing their experiences in killing the lightning wolves. Some were talking about the well-performing GU masters from the other villages. Fang Yuan was among the crowd that walked into the village, and he went to the village square in front of the family head pavilion. The square already had a stage, the merit points were exchanged here. A large amount of GU masters gathered here, and rank 1 GU masters were doing administrative work. Some rank 2 GU masters squeezed around, using the bloodstained wolf eyes to exchange for merit points. There was also a portion of them that were using their merit points to exchange for primeval stones, GU worms or food ingredients, etc. In the middle of the village square, a large banner was erected, and on it, there was the written language of this world, it was constantly changing. This is the battle merit board, and on it there are over a dozen swimward. GU. Rank 1 swimward GU, after being manipulated by rank 1 support GU. Masters, can freely convert the contents of the writings on the banner. HMPH, why is the number 1 still the Bai clans by Bing Yi's group? Some, stared at the battle merit board, frowning. Let me see, Bai Bing Yi is number 1, our clan's Qing Shu group is number 2, and Shang. Li group is number 3, my group is the 137th. A GU master counted. This time, someone suddenly said, it changed, it changed. Qing Shu group, is now number 1. They pushed by clans by Bing Yi to number 2. On the battle merit board, the symbol showing the second ranking Qing Shu group suddenly moved, crawling its way upwards and pulling the Bai Bing Yi group down with its hands, ascending the position of number 1 itself, even using its leg to trample around. 
such a human reaction, it was naturally due to the GU master manipulating the swimward GU. Seeing this interesting change, the GU masters in the village square laughed heartily, pointing a thumbs up towards Ching Shu's group, praising non-stop. The rank 1 GU master controlling the swimward GU had a red face as he showed an expression of excitement. Lord Ching Shu, you are indeed our number 1 rank 2 GU master. Good job, Lord Ching Shu. Yu Ching Shu walked among the crowd, smiling faintly. Yu Fang. Zheng Hu was behind him clenched both fists, following closely with an excited expression on his face. The praises from all over the square filled the young man's strong materialistic desire. This made Fang Zheng feel like he was walking on a bright path, unknowingly increasing his recognition towards the clan. Big brother, he saw Fang Yuan standing among the crowd, observing. With his arms folded, Big brother, you are still alone, all by yourself. No wonder you have been at the bottom of the ranking every since the start. Only by removing your prejudice and fusing into the masses can you feel the warmth and happiness of the clan, Fang Zheng sighed, feeling that Fang Yuan was somewhat pitiful and pathetic. People who were like Fang Yuan, always fighting alone without any companions, could not feel any kinship from the clan or friendship forged from fighting together with your teammates. Facing everything alone is not only dangerous, but mundane. A person living without friendship, love or kinship, what is the meaning of being alive? Fang Yuan stood among the crowd, staring at the tall merit board. Without doubt, the last position on the ranking was written in large letters, Fang Yuan Group. Other GU masters upon seeing this, felt extremely shameful, but Fang Yuan's gaze was calm, not minding it one bit. After being promoted to group leader, he had never recruited any members. He was a loner group leader, the most special group in the entire Qing Mao. Mountain's three clans. With only him alone, of course his daily hunting results could not compare. to other groups. Of course, with Fang Yuan's current abilities, if he tried. Hard he would definitely not be last place. But this was pointless to Fang Yuan. He did not need much merit points, living resources or GU worms food, he had stock for everything. He had planned to exchange for a fish scales GU earlier, but now he no longer needed to. Right now he was hunting lightning wolves daily just to put on a show to fulfill the quota, and secondly accumulate some merit points to exchange for moon orchid petals. After all, his moonglow GU needed this food. Half a month soon passed, and the spring atmosphere intensified. Trees started to grow leaves, and wildflowers on the roadside bloomed. Under the warm spring winds, GU masters sang in battle, and the battle situation was getting better and better. Fang Yuan walked on the pavement, seeing everyone's happy faces, there. Exchanges of praise like courageous acts and the likes. Of course, there were also some GU masters who were in deep worry showing an unhappy expression. These GU masters were mostly the elderly. As with their rich life experiences, they knew that the real wolf tide was coming in summer and autumn. Fang Yuan realized in his heart. What caused this current situation is due to the Three Clan Alliance, thus. People have reduced their caution of each other, and this enabled GU masters to be more invested in resisting the wolf tide. Secondly, the lightning wolves exterminated were only the crippled wolves. Thirdly, with the coming of spring, many wolves are busy mating. When summer comes, the truly energetic and healthy wolves would attack from all directions, causing great damage and deaths to the three clans. Thinking of this, Fang Yuan's eyes shone with cold light. In this year's wolf tide, the intensity was like never before, it reached a danger level that was unforeseen. Even the clan higher-ups greatly underestimated the severity of this wolf tide. In his memory, most of the GU masters died, and the trump cards of the three clans were nearly fully expended. Fang Yuan had never thought of warning the higher-ups. One is that even if he did, they might not listen to his suggestion, and even emphasize on where he got the information, which he is unable to explain. Secondly, there was no point in telling them, it is a fundamental difference in strength. Thirdly, and the most crucial reason, warning the clan did not fit his biggest 
interest. I would rather let the world down than be let down by the world. What kinship, friendship, love, these are but an ornament in life, how can they compare to a man's great ambition? On earth, Shang Yu wanted to cook Liu Bang's father and the Han dynasty. Ancestor Liu Bang even laughed and said, Go ahead, don't forget to give me a piece of meat. Tang Dynasty Li Shi Ming killing his brothers, Cao Cao's army having no rations and cooking people to turn them into dried meat as food. Liu Bei, borrowing Jing Zhou but never returning. The higher ups praise the values and morals, but those are just tools to maintain their rule. If one is restrained by these, how can they achieve anything? Those who step into upper society, who does not have bloodstained hands. Stepping on corpses along the way. A capitalist's initial startup fund, the process is always bloody. Any politician's hands are dirty, and the so-called philanthropists are merely using money to gain recognition in society. It is just that the successful are apt in hiding their past acts, and those who believe the stories of the successors are truly fools. These fools are everywhere, restrained by emotions and morals, they deserve to be stupidly manipulated by rules. What's sadder is that when they see others not being restrained, they would jump out and criticize. Trying to impart these morals to the people, not allowing others to have more freedom than them. In this process, they would even enjoy this ridiculous moral superiority and bliss. Thinking of this, Fang Yuan looked at the GU masters walking past him. These people, they had a body full of abilities, and some even had higher cultivation than him, but for what? They are just pawns, merely restrained dogs. What truly stalls a person's success is not talent, but mindset. Any organization, once a person is born, would impart their morals and rules, constantly brainwashing those that want to surpass humanity's achievements have to break this restraint on their mindset. Sadly, most people are trapped by this their entire lives, using this to move forward with motivation and even use their chained collar as a symbol of pride. Thinking so, Fang Yuan laughed coldly. Walking out of the village door, he retracted his thoughts. There was something important today, he was preparing to enter the rock. Crack Secret Cave Again Chapter 128 If not for the harshness of the winter, how could we look forward to spring? Chapter 128, if not for the harshness of the winter, how could we look forward to spring? Translator, Skyfaro Editor, Skyfaro. A faint red glow pervaded the stone forest, the petrified growth sprouting out from the ceiling towards the ground like upside down trees. It was a sight to see. It has been over a month since I last came here, Fang Yuan thought, helplessly. After the three clans united, they had commenced a crusade to continuously eliminate the surrounding wolf packs. Because the of the constant traffic for the war effort, GU masters made up an almost ever-present flow moving nearby the stone crack cave. In such a situation, even if Fang Yuan possessed stealth scales GU, there was a danger of exposing himself. Despite the risk, Fang Yuan was very careful in the way he did things. Five hundred years worth of life experience had nurtured enough patience in him, he kept rein over his desires and made sure not to make movements around the stone cave during this period. When spring came, the crippled wolves had been successfully rooted out, and there were few GU masters left roaming around. Only then was he, willing and Fang Yuan circled around the village before using the stealth scales GU to come back. A month had passed by, allowing some stone monkey groups to repopulate. And they had moved to the stone pillars he had cleared before. Fortunately, the number were quite few. Fang Yuan spent some time killing the monkey groups and advancing towards the central area of the stone forest. Under the shadow of the huge stone pillar, an obvious artificial cave. Entrance appeared before his eyes. Some crude rock stairs extended downwards from the cave mouth into the Darkness. Fang Yuan used the white jade GU to cover his whole body with a layer of faint jade light and carefully descended down the stairs. His left hand held a fire torch, whereas bright moonlight shone on his right. Palm, the moonglow GU was already activated. It was completely dark underground and even the fire torch could only illuminate five steps ahead. 
An illumination type GU would be a lot helpful in such situations. Unfortunately Fang Yuan was not so affluent. Step by step, he walked on for a long while before reaching the end of the stairs. A crude artificial stone door was in front of him. Golden Centipede's cave is precarious, earth communication is the way to avoid the disaster. Fang Yuan lifted his fire torch which illuminated some characters carved on the stone door. Earth communication, Golden Centipede. Fang Yuan's eyes gleamed, comprehending the meaning. If this is what I think it is, he crouched down and touched the ground. The soil was wet. There's something. He was happy. He began to dig the soil and indeed, he found an earth treasury flower. He carefully uncovered the petals and took out a GU worm from the heart of the flower. This was a special GU. It resembled a human ear, but much smaller. It was yellowish brown, and looked shriveled and dull. He felt it in his palm, it was shriveled like marinated radish and carried some warmth. Dozens of roots like the ginseng roots grew out from its sides. This was a rank 2 grass GU, earth communication ear grass. Looking at the earth communication ear grass, Fang Yuan's gaze flashed. This earth communication ear grass's usage was to scout. It had appeared in a great time and was perfect for Fang Yuan. Earth communication ear grass had a great advantage, it could scout up to 300 paces. This range was among the best of rank 2. Investigative GU worms. It was easy to feed too. Its food was the ginseng roots. There were many forested mountains in the southern border. There were far more ginsengs here than in earth. Hunter families would occasionally pick some when they went to hunt in the mountains. Especially when ginseng is easy to store, as long as it is completely dried and sealed up properly, it could be kept for a long time under room temperature. Moon orchid petals wilted in a few days, but ginseng could be stored for a long time. GU worms need to be nurtured, used and refined. These three aspects are broad and has many mysteries within them. Earth communication ear. Grass is easy to nurture, but using it is rather troublesome, Fang Yuan. Pondered. He held the earth communication ear grass and poured primeval essence, instantly refining it. Earth communication ear grass was very outstanding and could compare with many rank 3 investigative GU worms. However, heaven was fair, and using the earth communication ear grass didn't end with just refining. It still needed a certain price. Just like the zombie GU and wood charm GU which needed to be used with other GU worms, there was a consequence. If used for a long time, the GU master's body would slowly corrode and turn into a true zombie or tree. Man, many GU worms can't be used by merely refining them, they still need some special prerequisites. This earth communication flesh ear GU is also the same. By using it to ascertain the situation, I can truly move about freely in the wolf tide and even achieve some of my goals during this wolf tide. Fang Yuan pondered for a while and decided to use this earth communication flesh ear GU. As the gains would be greater than losses, even if he had to pay the price, it was nothing for the sake of his future. No matter which world, how could one gain anything without paying a price? Fang Yuan coldly smiled and put the earth communication ear grass in his aperture. He gazed at the stone door deeply then turned around and left. If he didn't guess wrong, there would be a great danger in the other side of the stone door. Only by using the earth communication ear grass could he be able to avoid it. Fang Yuan exited the secret cave and leisurely circled the village after making several rounds, hunting several lone wolves and taking their eyeballs, he returned. He was still the last in the battle merit board. As he walked through the street, the GU masters who recognized him laughed at him or threw a contemptuous look. Fang Yuan didn't care and still went his own way. After several days, he used small battle merits to exchange for ginseng roots, properly feeding the earth communication ear grass and recovering its vitality. Most of the clan's attention was on the wolf tide, no one paid attention to Fang Yuan. If it was before, uncle and aunt might have brought him some troubles, but they had made no more movements ever since Fang Yuan sold the family assets to them. Difficult to do openly, easy to do secretly. 
Soon, Fang Yuan smoothly completed some preparations in the dark. Tonight, the moon was bright and stars were few. The moon hung high above like a jade plate and the gentle darkness of the night was like a yarn, covering Qingmao Mountain. From time to time, wolf howls could be faintly heard from afar. Fang Yuan securely closed the door and windows. He stood inside his rented room, his whole body naked. There was a table in front of him and a basin filled with warm water was laid on it. Beside the wash basin was a white towel and a sharp dagger on top. Even the floor he was standing on was covered with a layer of thick cloth. Strands of moonlight passed through the cracks in the windows and shone. Upon the table, Fang Yuan's expression was indifferent as he grabbed the dagger. The dagger was sharp and had a cold shine to it. It could even be used as a mirror. Under the faint light, the young man's indifferent face was reflected on the dagger. Right now, Fang Yuan couldn't help but think of a martial arts skill book. From Earth called the Less Than Sacred Sunflower Scroll Greater Than. The first sentence in the first page of Less Than Sacred Sunflower Scroll Greater Than was. Castrate yourself to train this skill. One needed to give up or pay something if they wanted to receive quick strength. So what if you needed to castrate yourself? If you don't have such ruthless decisiveness and aren't willing to let go. How could you accomplish your ambitions and become a lord ruling over everything? Wanting to receive without paying anything was only fairy tales to deceive children. Back to Fang Yuan's current state, to use this earth communication ear. Grass, the price he needed to pay couldn't amount to anything. Thinking of this, Fang Yuan coldly smiled. He used his fingers to lightly caress the cold blade and softly hummed, moon like the frost-filled night, the dagger shines with a cold light. If not for the harshness of the winter, how could we look forward to spring? He quickly moved his hand. The hand rose and the dagger fell, blood burst out. A piece of flesh fell on the table. Fang Yuan had cut apart his whole right ear and blood was spurting out of it. He first felt a little cool before an intense burst of pain suddenly attacked him. He gritted his teeth and sucked in breath through his teeth. He resisted the pain and called out earth communication ear grass from his aperture. He had nurtured this earth communication ear grass back to its full vitality. It was now completely different from how it looked back when he just got it. Back when he had taken it out of the earth treasury flower, it was shriveled and dull. Now, it was plump and warm, fat and big and had grown up to an adult palm size. It was highly elastic and resembled the Buddha's drooping ear of earth. Fang Yuan pressed the earth communication flesh ear GU on his wound at the right side of his head and immediately poured red steel primeval essence towards it. The earth communication flesh ear Gu's roots immediately came to life, and rapidly began to grow, taking root in Fang Yuan's wound. Another burst of pain came. Fang Yuan felt like dozens of earthworms were drilling towards his brain. From his wound, this feeling was painful and also nauseating. Generally speaking, GU masters would use some GU worms to numb their nerves in this stage, but Fang Yuan wasn't in that situation and could only rely on his iron willpower to forcefully endure it. In the end, his body was that of a youth's, and Fang Yuan who endured this. Pain couldn't help but feel his body starting to sway. More and more roots extended, entered his wound. Slowly, the earth, communication ear grass glued together with the bloody wound, becoming Fang Yuan's new right ear. Finally, there was no more blood flowing out of the wound, there wasn't even a scar. However, Fang Yuan's face was pale, the pain had only slightly decreased. It was still tormenting him. Veins bulged out from his head and his heart thumped rapidly. At this stage, Fang Yuan was already finished for the most part, but some time was still necessary for his body to adapt to the earth communication. Ear grass. He picked up a mirror and looked at it under the faint moonlight. He saw his pale face and frowning brows in the mirror. His right ear was bigger than his left by over two times and looked like a deformity. Fang Yuan didn't mind it, after looking at the mirror for a moment and seeing no problems, he felt satisfied. He put the mirror down and picked up the towel. He dipped the towel in the warm water in the basin and wiped the bloodstains on his body. He had no clothes on, so it was very easy to clean the bloodstains. Some 
Blood had flowed down his foot but were absorbed by the cotton cloth. Spread on the floor, Fang Yuan cleaned the blood stains, then picked up his right ear from the table. He coldly snorted, then used the Moonglow Giyu, slicing his own right ear into meat paste and completely destroying it. Fang Yuan held the basin filled with the watery blood and put it under the bed before throwing a piece of coal in it. Only after doing all this did Fang Yuan lay down on the bed. The pain had weakened for the most part but was still tormenting him. Fang Yuan felt the pain in his head along with his heartbeat. He did not know how much time had passed, but he finally fell into a deep sleep. Chapter 129, Chainsaw Golden Centipede Chapter 129, Chainsaw Golden Centipede Translator, Skyfaro Editor, Skyfaro When Fang Yuan woke up, it was already noon of the second day. His headache was gone, and the intense pain had vanished completely. He touched his ear subconsciously, the sense of touch no different from before. It was as if the cutting of his ear never happened last night. He climbed down from his bed, finding a mirror to look at himself. In the mirror, a young man's face was shown, he was not handsome, but his dark abyss-like iris made him stand out from mortals, showing a special unique coolness and charisma. The young man's ears were the same as any others. Last night, when he planted the earth communication ear grass, Fang Yuan's right ear was plump and big, his ear drooping till it nearly reached his chin. But now it was completely normal from appearance, there was nothing different. This is because his body and the earth communication ear grass had gotten used to each other. Fang Yuan's thought moved, and from his aperture a little red steel primeval essence flowed along his body, moving up towards his right ear. At once, his hearing improved multiple times, and numerous footsteps could be heard. Although he was on the second floor, he had a feeling of stepping on earth. Fang Yuan paid attention and listened as his primeval essence continued to be used, and his hearing improved as well. In the mirror, roots started to grow out of his ear. These roots were like the roots of a thousand-year ginseng, extending from his ear towards the outside, constantly growing longer and moving towards the ground. At the same time, his right ear had the notion of becoming fatter. Fang Yuan stopped using the earth communication ear grass, and a second later, the roots growing out of his ears retracted, and his right ear became normal again. Of course, his hearing also went back to its initial state. This way, I have a recon type GU. Fang Yuan wore his upper shirt, taking out a water basin from under his bed. Last night, the bloody water had turned into blackish dirty water due to the charcoal tossed in. The bloody towel submerged within was the same as, well, there was still some white in the red color initially, but now it was all covered by the black soot. It was easy to make people assume that it was a cloth for wiping grease in the kitchen. This basin when brought out, even if it was poured in front of someone, nobody would notice. Summer was coming, and many clansmen were trying to clean the stove that they used in winter. Often they would end up with a basin of dirty water just like this. While the iron was still hot, Fang Yuan entered the rock crack secret cave. Again, this time, he did not enter empty-handed, but caught a deerling outside and tied its four limbs together. He used a steel contraption to bind its mouth, and then used the stealth scales GU to hide his presence and brought it to the rock door. He did not open the door in a hurry, but activated the earth communication. Ear grass. The roots extended from his ear, and his hearing ability amplified. Dong dong dong. Firstly, he heard a light sound, the sound of slow heartbeat. As the roots grew longer, the heartbeat became louder, and the sources of sound also increased. Fang Yuan did not need to think to realize that these heartbeats were coming from the Jade Eye Stone Monkeys in the Rock Forest. He shut his eye and he could imagine in his head, the owners of these Sounds hiding in their caves, curling into a ball and sleeping. But this was not what he wanted to find out. He continued listening, his right ear already becoming slightly fat, the ginseng limbs growing out of his ear almost half a meter long, the roots. Having sentience, they extended to the rock door, and stabbed in rather shallowly. 
At this moment, Fang Yuan felt that his hearing had a gigantic boost. With him as center, he could hear the numerous noises of a 300. Step radius. This was the earth communication ear grass true usage, what he did in. The village was merely a test. If the earth communication ear grass roots did not touch the ground, for a rank 2 Rakan GU, it was at a very average level. But once the roots are in the ground, its range would drastically improve. This was understandable. On Earth, the theory was that sound travels at a speed related to its intermediary. Sound in the Earth or in water, the speed of transmission was far greater than through air. In ancient China, some soldiers in war when sleeping, would use a wooden quiver as their pillow. Once any cavalry attacks, the soldiers would hear the noise from the Earth and be awakened in time. If they waited for sound to travel by air, they would not have time to react. The roots grew into the rock door, and Fang Yuan could instantly hear the commotion behind it. It was a very scrambled and confusing noise, but very frequent. Compared to this noise, the stone monkey's heartbeat was like the sound of drums. If a newbie was using this earth communication ear grass for the first time, upon hearing this they would be thinking of all the possible guesses. But to Fang Yuan, this noise was expected, and he only listened for a while. Before frowning, he pushed open the rock door. The rock door was heavy, but with his strength of two boars now, it was easy. The rock door opened, and a dark long tunnel appeared in front of him. Stretching on at a straight line, towards the unknown, Fang Yuan untied the deer he had caught, and tossed it into the tunnel. The deerling was very smart. Sensing the dangers of the dark path ahead, it did not dare to move forward. Its huge eyes stared at Fang Yuan, showing fear and a begging intention. Fang Yuan snorted and threw a moonblade. This moonblade was controlled to be small, slicing vertically and inflicting a light wound on the deerling's body. The blood gushed out from its wound, and under the pain, the deerling's fear towards Fang Yuan won and it rushed into the dark tunnel. Darkness soon engulfed it. Fang Yuan activated the earth communication ear grass again, this time. The roots grew into the walls. His hearing amplified, and first he heard the deerling's footsteps, its heartbeat, and some other noise. Golden Centipede's cave is precarious, earth communication is the way to avoid the disaster. Fang Yuan knew in his heart that these noises were the movement sound of a centipede. In his ear, he could hear the deerling's cries. Evidently, it had gone into the cave and met the centipede. Fang Yuan could see the image in his mind, the flustered deerling attacked. By a centipede swarm, completely engulfing it. The deerling turns around in fright, and as it kicks its young hooves it felt the sense of death approaching. And gave cries for help. Uncountable number of centipedes climbed onto its body, and the deer laid on the ground, rolling and struggling. Only after a while later, its heartbeat stopped. The centipede army started to consume the deerling meat on its body. Fang Yuan's gaze shone as he heard a special sound. This sound was like a buzzing, like the turning on of a chainsaw, it was full of arrogance, dominance, and wildness. If a newbie heard this, they would be confused. But with Fang Yuan's experience, he could guess the identity of this sound at once. Rank 3 Wild GU Worm, Chainsaw Golden Centipede. This was the worm king in the centipedes, the true killer in the centipede. Cave. Fang Yuan could completely imagine, a meter over in length, the breadth of two fists, coiling and slithering around the cave. On the two sides of its body, there is a row of sharp saw-like teeth. As it moved, the chainsaws also moved around rapidly, just like an electric chainsaw. The chainsaw golden centipede's arrival caused the centipede army to quieten. It came ferociously, and wherever it went, the centipedes gave way. Showing the half-body remains of the deerling. It climbed to the deerling's body, opening its mouth and consuming the deer. Blood and deer meat, and when it got to the bones, it coiled its body up and used the chainsaws to lightly grind against the bones, turning it into powder. Easily. Even the white jade goose defense cannot endure this chainsaw golden centipede's attack. It seems that the flower wine monk's intention is to make me use this earth communication ear grass and avoid the centipede. 
But I have the spring autumn cicada, so to subdue this chainsaw golden. Centipede, it is not impossible. Fang Yuan had a thought in his head. He was overjoyed at this prey. The chainsaw golden centipede was an outstanding GU worm. If it was his, to use, it would be another strong method of attack. Only that, in order to subdue this chainsaw golden centipede, even a rank. 4 GU master would have to expend a lot of effort. Catching and killing are two things, the former is way harder than the latter. Wild GU worms were all crafty, and if the chainsaw golden centipede saw something amiss, it would burrow into the ground and escape. If a GU master did not have a burrowing method, how can he give chase? But Fang Yuan had the spring autumn cicada, thus as long as he caught this chainsaw golden centipede and released a hint of the spring autumn. Cicada's aura, he would make the GU worm cower and not dare to move. Spring Autumn Cicada was a rank 6, its aura was extremely powerful. Against rank 1 to rank 4 GU worms. But against rank 5, it had less effect, and towards other rank 6, there was no deterrence force in it. This phenomenon is very interesting, but actually human society is just the same. Towards someone outstanding, people would envy, worship and admire. But to someone who is only slightly better performing, they would dare to offend, and was mostly competition and jealousy. I am only at rank 2 middle stage now, hence to subdue this rank 3. Chainsaw Golden Centipede, it is possible but still too early. Fang Yuan, assessed. Rank 2 GU Masters should use rank 2 GU Worms which is the most appropriate, and most useful. Of course, rank 2 GU Masters can also own rank 3 or even rank 4 GU Worms. But this was not common. Firstly, the higher rank the GU worm, the more expensive it is to feed it. Secondly, they become harder to use and require more cost when activating. Like a baby trying to wield a large hammer, if it forcefully tried to, it might pull a muscle due to the hammer's weight and smash its own leg. The deerling has already alerted the entire colony, it would take 10 days to half a month for these centipedes to calm down. After my testing, the Thought in my heart has been affirmed, but I have no chance to strike yet. Why don't I slow down and give it some time, this matter cannot be rushed. Fang Yuan left his thoughts here and closed the rock door again. He then left using the Stealth Scales GU. Chapter 130, Clansmen are still more reliable. Chapter 130, Clansmen are still more reliable. Translator, Skyfaro Editor, Skyfaro. Dark clouds covered the sky, casting shadows over the entire Qing Mao mountain, seemingly signifying the coming of a storm. On a remote mountain side, a dozen robust lightning wolves drew back the corners of their mouth and made low roars. They had surrounded Fang Yuan. These wolves had a healthy body and were not like the crippled wolves. Any other rank 2 GU master would be desperate if they were caught in such besiegement, alone. However, the situation was quite opposite right. Now, Fang Yuan was standing on the spot, his expression calm. Instead, these lightning wolves that were surrounding him were slightly nervous and afraid. The battle had already continued for a while and the ground was soaked with blood. Several lightning wolves had collapsed on the ground, and the silence showed Fang Yuan's battle accomplishments. Kill. Fang Yuan shouted inwardly, he took the initiative to attack even though he was the one surrounded. His foot pushed the ground as he pounced towards a lightning wolf on his left side. This lightning wolf immediately shrunk back a small step in fear, but then its vicious personality was stimulated, it made a powerful jump and attacked Fang Yuan. It opened its mouth in the air, revealing the many sharp wolf teeth that filled its mouth. Fang Yuan laughed loudly, he didn't evade but just swung his right arm. Whoosh! An eerie blue moonblade flew horizontally through the air and struck the lightning wolf's open mouth. There was only a ripping noise, this unfortunate lightning wolf was instantly cut apart into two, from its mouth to tail, by this moonblade. Boiling blood spurted out and poured like a rain of blood. Fang Yuan's whole body flashed with white jade light as he charged threw the blood rain and rampaged within the wolf pack. The lightning wolves reacted, they attacked him from all sides. They, 
opened their mouths and tore at him but were blocked by the white jade. Gu's defense, causing their own teeth to be broken. Their claws were also of no use. Fang Yuan punched and kicked, and the lightning wolves were sent flying. Under his enormous strength of two boars, some lightning wolves had their skulls directly smashed and died on the spot. Fang Yuan grasped the upper hand in this battle, but good things don't last forever, for his primeval essence was being used. Quickly, Fang Yuan's aptitude was only C grade and his cultivation was at rank 2. Middle stage currently, the primeval essence in his aperture was not even 50%. He looked at his declining primeval essence, but there were still several lightning wolves remaining. He had no choice but to use stealth scales. G.U. His body gradually disappeared like the ripples in the water. In a blink of an eye, there was no more trace of him. The lightning wolves were at their wit's end, and they gave off furious howls and started searing the area but didn't find anything. Fang Yuan had not gone far. He gazed at the lightning wolves movements. While absorbing primeval stones to recover his primeval essence and also maintaining the concealment of the stealth scales GU at the same time. Lightning wolves had extraordinary eyesight but their sense of smell were not sharp. The stealth scales GU just so happened to be their bane. When Fang Yuan's primeval essence recovered to 30%, the lightning wolf pack finally retreated unwillingly. Fang Yuan didn't have a movement GU worm, so if the lightning wolves really retreated, he would definitely not be able to catch up to them with his speed. Thus, he removed the concealment of the stealth scales GU and became visible. Ho! -ol. The lightning wolves saw Fang Yuan and as if he had killed their fathers. They rushed at him. Fang Yuan sneered. He waited till the lightning wolves were in front of him. Then he suddenly struck with his right hand. His right fist was covered with a layer of faint white jade light which was extremely hard. The punch ferociously struck a lightning wolf's lower back. Crack. A crisp sound was heard immediately and this unlucky lightning wolf was sent flying by Fang Yuan, its lower back fractured. It fell on the ground and crazily struggled while letting out miserable howls. But it could no longer get up. Fang Yuan had recovered sufficient primeval essence and with his formidable fighting strength, he killed four more lightning wolves in a few moments. The remaining several lightning wolves lost their fighting spirit and looked at Fang Yuan with fear. They whimpered and then tucked their tails and escaped. Fang Yuan didn't chase after them. He couldn't compare to these lightning wolves in speed, chasing was pointless. The ground was filled with wolf corpses and they were all Fang Yuan's spoils of war. But Fang Yuan was cautious, he didn't hurry to take out the lightning wolves' eyeballs. Earth communication ear grass. He got down on his hands, his right ear close to the earth. Roots grew out from the ear and pierced the soil. His hearing strength amplified instantly, he could scout anything within a 300-step radius. Many sounds entered his ear, but there were no sounds of wolf packs or the sounds of other GU masters moving about. It is safe for the moment. Fang Yuan let out a breath of relief. He took out a dagger and began to dig out the eyeballs of the lightning wolves. He only handed over a small part of these eyeballs and hid the rest. If he handed all of them, it would no doubt attract suspicions and even result to secret investigations. Fang Yuan wanted to prevent such inconveniences as much as possible. Fang Yuan immediately left after digging out all the eyeballs of these lightning wolves. When he had killed two more wolf packs like this, the sky was already covered with thick dark clouds. Strong wind blew, blowing through the pine forests, creating a green wave in the mountain along with the rustling of the leaves. Hoawal, faint howls of large numbers of lightning wolves echoed within the wind. Fang Yuan's expression slightly paled, according to his previous life's memories, today was the day the wolf tide truly broke out. He used the earth communication ear grass again but didn't hear the rapid advancement of the lightning wolves. He wasn't surprised, but instead became calm. This meant that there was at least over a 300-step gap away between him and the lightning wolves. This distance along with his own speed and the knowledge of the topography sufficed to let him reach the village safely. These lightning wolves are cunning, choosing to attack in such weather. 
The noise from the strong wind and the sounds from the pine forest will mask their movements to a great degree, Fang Yuan sighed inwardly, then ran towards the village with his greatest speed. After running for hundreds of meters, he bumped into a five-person GU master group. Hey, you are GU Yu Fang Yuan. A young GU master in the group raised his eyebrows when he saw Fang Yuan and greeted him in an odd way. This GU master was GU Yu Peng, Fang Yuan's classmate. During the academy period, he had suffered from Fang Yuan's bullying and extortion. Fang Yuan indifferently glanced at him before brushing past him without pausing, not giving him a chance to speak again. Bastard. Ji Yu Yu Peng was stunned, then a stifled feeling rose up in his heart and his speed slowed down. He didn't get the chance to ridicule Fang Yuan. Little Peng, don't slow down. We need to hunt at least 50 lightning wolves today to preserve our rank in the battle merit board. The group leader spoke. Ji Yu Yu Peng immediately restrained his furious expression and quickly followed the group members. My group is ranked 75 in the battle merit board. That Fang Yuan is ranked at beyond 200. This difference is like that of heaven and earth. I am also quite fortunate to have such a caring senior as the group leader. From the start of the wolf tide till now, I have exchanged part of the battle merits to get a GU worm. My future is bright, how could Fang Yuan compare to me? GU Yu Peng calmed down a lot when he thought of this, even feeling blessed at that. In this world, what can one accomplish by fighting alone? Many hands. Make light work, unity is the greater power. It is still the clansmen that are reliable. Borrowing the clan's strength, we newbies can safely grow up. That Fang Yuan is an idiot, he really thinks he is a hero. He resolved the problem of the rank 5 river swallowing toad only by luck and he is putting on airs. Although he has become a group leader, he hasn't recruited any group members, serves him right to be ranked last. Ha <laughs> ha. Anyway, with his eccentric personality, how will he recruit any group members? Ji Yu Yu Peng's movement became more relaxed. Strangely, all along the way, they hadn't run into any wolf packs. Ji Yu Yu Peng raised his head to look at the sky, it was afternoon but the sky was already dusky as if it was evening. The wind blew, and the dark clouds densely covered the sky and moved rapidly, brewing thunder and rainstorm. However, Ji Yu Yu Peng was not afraid, a mocking smile appearing on his mouth as he thought, ha ha ha, so Feng Yuan was hurriedly rushing back. Because he was worried of this rainstorm. What a coward, what is there to be afraid of a rainstorm? Right at this time, the group leader's face suddenly paled, he opened his mouth and sucked in a deep breath. Sir group leader, what happened? Other four members naturally noticed this. In this GU master group, the group leader was in charge of scouting. Although he was also a rank 2 GU master, his scouting GU worm didn't have as great a radius as Fang Yuan's earth communication ear grass. His face was deathly white right now and he had no wish to give detailed explanation. Run, quick, he shouted with terror and amidst other group members. Astonished gazes, he turned around and ran. Follow the group leader. Other group members were not foolish, they quickly reacted and broke into a run. Hoawal, wolf howls came from behind them continuously. From these noises, they knew there was more than a thousand lightning wolves. Everyone in the group was pale, they breathed heavily and used all their strength to run. Wait for me. Ji Yu Yu Peng sprinted with all he had but was still the last. He lost his composure and started screaming for help. He felt the breathing sounds of the lightning wolves behind his back. But what made him despair was the group leader who normally showed great consideration to him, didn't even turn his head back. The teammates, who used to pat their chests and speak of brotherhood and sentiments, ignored his shouts. Ho U. Ji Yu Yu Peng suddenly heard a wolf howl right next to him. In the next moment, he felt an enormous force pressed on his back and knocking him down. He tumbled on the ground, the fall had made him dizzy. He subconsciously turned around to try to resist. Boom! A lightning snake flashed through the air. In the darkness, a bold lightning wolf's figure immediately became visible. Its body was twice the size of a normal lightning wolf, the hair in its body 
erect. It opened its mouth and revealed its silver-white sharp fangs. Ji Yu Yu Peng's pupils shrank to a needle size, a thought echoing within his mind, Hundred Beast King. The wolf pack scale in the wolf nest was enormous, not only were there three myriad Beast King level Thunder Crown wolves, there were also Hundred Beast King level Bold Lightning Wolves and Thousand Beast King level Frenzy Lightning Wolves. In the very next second, the Bold Lightning Wolf opened its mouth and with a crack sound, Ji Yu Yu Peng's whole head was not off. Fresh blood and brain matter splashed. The Bold Lightning Wolf lowered its head and began to swallow the blood from Ji Yu Yu Peng's neck and nod. At his fatty meat, countless lightning wolves came from behind it and rushed ahead. Rumbling sounds continued incessantly. Pitter-patter, heavy rain also started pouring. The true wolf tide had begun. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Reverend Insanity. Written by Gu Zhen Ran. Audio by Dex San Wu Li.